I'm, I'm with Dr. David King, who is the Joint Deputy Chair for the ISA UK, and, and something else. Uh, yeah, yeah the, the ISA UK, I'm the Joint Deputy uh, Chair of the Advisory Board. I'm also the Chair uh, of the Information Security Awareness Forum. Right, and, and he'll just be giving uh, the viewers uh, a brief of the heightened convergent threats uh, press briefing uh, that, that, that he's just given. Yeah, we were, um, the, the, the briefing was uh, given by um, a number of uh, uh, four of us, um, fr from, uh, some from the Information Security Awareness Forum. Um, we also had uh, a representative from the industry as well. And the convergence, the question of convergence is a question over the convergence of physical security and information security. It's bringing together two disciplines. Um, the information security traditionally has come from the technology uh, world, whereas the physical security, of course, has been with us since the year dot, you know, from the, from the cave to the grave, you know. Um, and the, the, the threat these days is a converged threat. We're increasingly seeing some more sophisticated attacks on organizations uh, um, looking for people's data, um, but the converged threat is one that involves components of both physical attack um, and, um, and information attacks as well. So, so essentially we have a, uh, someone who gets into the organization via social engineering such as maybe uh, being a security guard and putting a keylogger device uh, uh, in, 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 into key computer systems. Exactly, that's one, that's one threat and if you combine that with uh, online threats as well and maybe if the timing is such that uh, there's a sophisticated attack involving both components and others as well then we're beginning to get the picture of, of, the, of the threats that are out, uh, are out there. And so organizations at the moment, the, 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 question, sorry, the, the question over convergence uh, to date has really been one over bringing together um, two functions within an organization um, in, in, into one. Um, and it's recognized that, uh, and a lot of organizations have been doing this for a long time, and the word convergence is a new term, actually it's a term I only came across this year, uh, relating to this particular activity. So for some people, this is an op it's now a name for something that a lot of people have been doing for, for some time. Um, one of the important things to recognize, though, is uh, convergence for an organization should, should not simply be about bringing together job functions and getting two disparate cultural teams working together. It's actually about a business strategy to respond to a converged threat. And so the response to that threat is not just about the organization and the resourcing. It's actually what is the risk appetite for the organization and how is it going to position itself in terms of the people, the process, and the technology. Okay, so can, can you give us an, uh, a, a more uh, de a better definition for a risk appetite here? In so, terms a, of the a risk appetite, how much a risk appetite is, um, you know, exactly how much risk is an organization prepared to take? Um, risk appetites are couched in different ways in different organizations, but it might be through the policy and the standards that an organization agrees that are acceptable for that organization. In a sense, that acts as a, a proxy for risk appetite. Mm. So, so what are the, the key challenges of trying to integrate, um, for example, CCTV monitoring with uh, you know, malware detection? Or, or, or so and they, they seem totally, they still te seem totally separate. And, and well, yes, uh, and th that's the problem because they're, they're not really. Um, CCTV is these days often uh, enabled through IP technology, so it's possible to access the CCTV technology through the traditional, through the uh, you know through the IP network. In other words, you can get to CCTV from your computer, and if the CCTV system isn't protected using um, you know best practice techniques for information security and passwords on accounts and so on, it's actually possible to for some anybody who can listen to the network to tap into that into that CCTV system, um, and essentially do surveillance on an organization. That's very powerful if you want to launch an attack. In, in other the words, The problem can, is that the technology has converged uh, already. It's not converging, it's converged. It's already there. Um, and the response to the threat um, through com combined technology, uh, through the combined uh, bring, bringing together, for example, of CCTV and, um, and, and, and IT, um, brings a new threat that needs a response. And that response, the traditional response of separate information security and physical security, is, no really, is not really longer, uh, no longer tenable anymore. Uh, okay, so um, in terms of resources and, and, and people, how, how, how would they uh, integrate the physical security, the building manager, the, uh, with the 
uh, uh, CISA role, if you if you like, or, or are they going to still be separate roles? What, what well, one one solution is to bring it together under a in, uh, under uh, under one in, uh, individual. Um, but I, I, I would re-emphasize my earlier point that actually the business needs to figure out the best way to resource uh, the organisation to deliver what the business needs to deliver, and that may or may not be um, one individual um, through which um, the different teams. Um, come together. It has to be an overall approach, I think is what I'm saying. Okay. Sure. So we've got to bring together you know, the, the governance, the reporting, the overall risk maps um, for the organisation. Need to include both components. There needs to be, you know, there's an opportunity to bring the, this together at the process level, the policy level, um, at the staffing level, uh, and, and of course at the technology support level as well. So it's quite, wi it's, it's quite wide in terms of its approach. And then if that's the uh, that's the response that the organisation needs to make. Then the question is how you resource it. Um, is it sort of some natural things fall out there in terms of bringing teams together, um, but every organisation is different, and uh, you know. So, so the important thing is it's driven by the business, it's driven by an understanding of risk. But it's also important that the the senior management in organisations understand the new threat as well, because without that, the driver to make the change uh, isn't going to be there. Um, David, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Ben Chai. I'm the editor for securityvibes.com. If you've enjoyed this video or have any other comments to make, please do fill in the comment boxes and let us know what you think. Thank you.